Again, in regards to this fascinating subject, we must remark upon the outstanding work of William R. Corliss and his collecting of remarkable tales of ancient giants, but what's more, his general conclusive consensus, and in which, due to our own research, we also share. For example, he mentions on page 102 of his source book, Strange Artifacts, that, quote, the ancient people of most countries seem to have possessed in the strongest degree a faith of giantology, end quote, a feeling we also share having validated our suspicions. He goes on to mention a tale of the astonishing size of the statues, said to have represented the beings who once dwelled within the true ancient Egypt. Quote, In front of the portals of the palace of Karnak are gigantic human statues, and in one of the courts are twelve immense stone figures, each fifty-two feet high. The adjacent palace of Luxor has two granite statues thirty-eight feet high at the entrance. In the ruins near Thebes are three huge figures, now thrown down, one being 64 feet high, and in the palace of Parthenon of Athens, many years before Christ, was a statue of Minerva 36 feet high. The Temple of Olympia contained a seated statue of a god who rose almost to the ceiling, which would have made it some 68 feet high." End quote. He mentions that entering these places gives one the impression that they are entering the past dwelling place of giants. Yet, what he goes on to say was found is astounding. Gaius Plinius Secundus, called Pliny the Elder, was a Roman author, naturalist, and natural philosopher, and naval and army commander of the early Roman Empire, and a friend of the Emperor Vespasian. He wrote the Encyclopedic Naturalis Historia, which became an editorial model for encyclopedias. He states that after an earthquake in a Crete mountain, witnessed the complete intact remains of an ancient giant some 46 cubits long, or 60 to 70 feet tall. Beings of this scale would easily explain how such enormous stones were moved Yet how they could have been hidden from history is an unknown motive, which we find highly compelling.